Hey guys, it's me, Bat, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take audio, face cam footage, and footage of gameplay on your PlayStation, and put it all into OBS, and create a video recording, and uh, so that you can post it to YouTube. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this today. So basically, uh, what you're going to want to do first is uh, go to Google and look up PS4 Remote Play. Now, this is something that you're going to have to download. And I know sometimes you guys think whenever you get into downloads and things like that, you guys are a little bit hesitant because you don't want to download this stuff. You don't think it's legit. But don't worry. Uh, this stuff is um, this stuff is legit. It's made by PlayStation and Sony. You can see up here. Um, so this is, uh, this is legit stuff. And this is uh, what you guys are going to need to be able to do this. So uh, you choose Mac or Windows PC. Uh, depending on what computer you have. Uh, so I have a Mac, so I downloaded the Mac. And then you're going to want to go to OBS. And then you're going to want to click this and then also download OBS for whichever computer you have. And now I'm going to show you that this actually works. So I, as you can see, I have them downloaded here and here. So we're going to click on the PS4 Remote Play, and now you're going to want to make sure that your PS4 is turned on so that whenever you click Start on this, it'll connect your PS4 to this. So I've already signed into this one time, so this, yours may not look like this, but you may have to sign in to your PS4 by using your password. Um, but then once you do that, you'll get something that looks like this, and then you're going to want to hit Start. And then it's going to search for... Uh, my PS4 and it found it all right so as we can see uh, here's my PS4 uh, I was playing Fortnite so uh, we got that here so now you can see that your PlayStation is turned on and you have um, and you can see that your PlayStation is uh, right here on your desktop now you're gonna want to open OBS and then uh, now, as you guys can see, uh, I'm right here, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it look like this. See, I've got my, my gaming, I've got this here, and I've got my audio uh, recording down here. So, uh, you guys probably aren't going to have this set up, so I'm going to show you. You're going to want to add a scene down here, and you're going to want to name it. I'll just call it a uh, test scene for you guys to see. So now we've got test scene here, and then you can switch back and forth to the test scene and this. So now what you're going to want to do is add input capture devices. So here I've got my video capture device, which is my um, my face my face cam, which is uh, built into my Mac computer. So uh, those of you guys who have a built-in face cam, you guys won't have to worry about that because it's already in the computer. So down here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to video capture device and you're going to want to click add existing and then click on your video capture device and then it's going to put in your face cam. Now you can drag this around and uh, make make me smaller and uh, you can put yourself uh, wherever you want uh, whether it be here which is what a lot of streamers put it down here, over here, half cut off, however you guys want to do it. Then, what you're going to want to do is uh, get your window capture. And this is what is going to uh, give you your gameplay. So add existing and window capture. So now we've got this here. And this is what is uh, the remote capture is for. The remote capture is capturing the image from your PlayStation and putting it into an accessible uh, OBS. So you're going to want to make this uh, bigger so that it takes up uh, the whole screen pretty much. Make sure there's no black or else you're going to get uh, it's not going to look as nice. All right, so we've got that set up. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so you may want to uh, add the window capture first just because that is going to it's going to be better for setting up. So add in your window capture make it bigger so that there's about no 
no black. Then you're going to want to add your video capture device, your face cam, and now that'll put it over top of your video. So we'll make that smaller and put me right here. Now, something that's very important that's going to help you uh, actually control your PlayStation is you're going to want to take a USB cable uh, that came should have came with your PlayStation and you're going to want to plug it into your controller and plug it into your computer. This will allow me to control the PlayStation so I can play on my TV right here, but then also you guys can see it on your computer. So it's all hooked up. Next, you're going to want to, for your headset, you're going to want to make sure that it's plugged into your computer. Now, as you can see, uh, there is no uh, audio down here. That's because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add in your audio input capture. Now this adds in your audio. And you're going to want the input because the, the headset is going into the computer, so you're going to want the, the input. So now you've got the audio, you've got the video capture for your PlayStation footage, and you've got your window capture for your face cam. So you've got it all set up, and now you want to do a video recording. Now over here, you can see that there is a start recording button, and this is what you're going to want to use uh, to make your recordings. But before you do that, you're going to want to go into settings. You're going to want to go to output. So now, uh, this is very important for uh, where this is going. Now, you've got your uh, where it's going. You can browse, and you can send it uh, anywhere uh, in your finder if you have a Mac. And I have it sent to movies. So anytime I make a recording, it's going to go to my movies. You can also send it to your desktop if you want, but I'm just going to leave it on movies. Uh, now, you are going to want to... Uh, recording quality, same as stream, is pretty good. And then recording format is something that's very important. Now, it'll automatically have it set to FLV, and then uh, if you make a video on FLV, you're going to have to download something called FLV Crunch, which is a software that can uh, turn it into like an mp4. Now that works but it takes a while and it, you're downloading something else and it's just a little bit too much on your computer. Uh, that's the case for me. So you can download it, you can send it to mp4 which is what the Mac runs on but if your computer happens to shut down in the middle of your recording uh, it will not save it for mp4. So what you're going to want to send it to is mov. mov is going to um, save it to the format of the Mac so that you can watch it and edit it and you're not going to lose it and this uh, and it works um, so then you can start a recording and it will it will record uh, this box don't worry about it recording uh, any of this stuff so that's going to be it for this video I hope that it uh, helped you guys assemble uh, your uh, the for the footage that you want um, and if there's any other videos that you would like to see, maybe how to live stream, uh, just let me know. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys later.